The secret behind why narcissists crave empathy's return, despite having hurt them. Today, we explore the intricate reasons behind the insatiable craving for empathy among narcissists, even after inflicting considerable harm. Many among you, distinguished as chosen ones and empaths, may not fully apprehend the underlying intricacies of this complex interplay. The narcissist, propelled by an unquenchable thirst for dominance, treated you with disdain, consistently diminishing your worth while sidestepping transparent communication. As you witness the narcissist transitioning to new sources of validation, you might find yourself reflecting on the initial stages of affection, pondering over potential misjudgments. Despite immersing yourselves in myriad resources, some may not have entirely absorbed the pivotal message, and that's precisely what we endeavour to delve into today. But before we embark on this journey, we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your presence within our community. Your backing is invaluable. Should you find our content enriching and wish to contribute to its expansion, consider supporting us on Ko-Fi. Your generosity fuels our ability to produce more captivating material for your enjoyment. With support starting from a mere $1, your contribution holds immense significance for us. Furthermore, for those opting to join our membership program, we offer an exciting perk. Your name will be prominently featured in our forthcoming videos as a token of gratitude. It's a small gesture to acknowledge and honour the remarkable individuals who facilitate our endeavours. For those eager to delve deeper into the intricacies of narcissistic dynamics, ensure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to become an integral part of our community. Your support is genuinely invaluable to us. And to our returning viewers, do share this video with those who might find it illuminating igniting stimulating conversations in the comments section below. Your insights serve as the lifeblood of our discussions. Now let's uncover the underlying motivations driving narcissists to seek empathy following transgressions and breaches of trust. Are you prepared for this enlightening voyage? Let's plunge into it. Beneath the facade, the narcissist harbors a clandestine desire for your presence, empath. They acknowledge their missteps and, in moments of introspection, yearn for your companionship. However, let's face it, admitting to this vulnerability isn't exactly their strong suit. Rejection is a bitter pill to swallow, especially when they find themselves at the receiving end. Their anxiety often compels them to engage in behaviours that leave you hanging, nurturing the hope that you'll patiently await their eventual return. Remember, they're adept at concealing their emotions and wearing different masks. This insight is crucial, especially when you see them with a new partner, seemingly basking in happiness. They've spent years perfecting their chariot, so why assume things have genuinely improved? You played a significant role in their narrative, offering insights and wisdom. Don't let the facade of joy mislead you into thinking their new supply is an upgrade. How sure are you that genuine contentment hides behind those seemingly carefree smiles? Look beyond the facade and you'll find that their joy isn't as authentic as it pretends to be. Behind those smiles dwell souls entangled in their own misery. Tortured beings who fail to recognize the treasure you brought into their lives. If you're up for embracing a kindred spirit or just sharing a fleeting moment, go ahead and click those like and subscribe buttons. Forgive me if I've hammered this point before, but it's vital that you grasp this truth. Let's cut to the chase. They never radiated more happiness than when they were with you. Unfortunately, they missed acknowledging the significant gift you represented to them. Can you fathom that something precious was right in front of their eyes, yet these peculiar individuals remained oblivious to it? Just because they've moved on to someone new doesn't ensure perfection. Their world lacks the enchantment of a fairy tale. It's far from it. Their happiness is nothing more than a facade and a performance. 
Be assured, they are a quirky bunch, incapable of seeing beyond their distorted realities. I trust you've grasped the core of my message. I've come across comments suggesting that they seem happier now or appear better off without me, and I acknowledge that not everyone shares the same sentiments. However, I must emphasize this. They're putting on a show to create a better image because they're aware of your watchful eyes. The narcissist knows the pain they inflict upon you. They understand you're keeping tabs on their social media. That's precisely why I persist in highlighting the importance of reaching a point where the compulsion to look fades away. Allow me to be unequivocal. I won't stop urging you to cease looking. Why? Because we all need that extra push. This is the carefully crafted image they choose to present to you. For a year, two years, three years, or even longer, you played a pivotal role in their narrative, and your influence will persist in shaping their journey. Let me be abundantly clear. Do you genuinely believe they can encounter someone new and completely erase you from their memory? What makes you think they don't face daily reminders of your presence? Let me delve into this as well. If you genuinely mistreated them, I might label them deceitful, but that's not the case here. You treated them with kindness, did your best, and that's all anyone can ask for. Yet, they twist the narrative, trying to portray you as the wrongdoer. Trust me, it's just another ploy to manipulate you. Even when confronted with the truth, they persist in their deception. They are compulsive liars. Don't buy into anything you see on their social media, especially if they claim to be ecstatic with their new partner while lounging on a beach. The beach isn't the source of their happiness. Internally, they're sadly scrolling through social media, envying the lives of others. So, do you see it now? Their constant lies will persist. Their tendency to lie is pathological. Don't trust a word they say. Understand that the narcissist longs for your return, feels their emptiness, and move forward. However, they are fully aware that they've crossed a line, so they keep you in suspense because your emotions matter to them. At this juncture, realize that they won't openly apologize or admit their faults. Some of the weaker narcissists might, but most will proceed to try to evoke envy in you. Let me share a personal story. When I stopped checking the narcissists' profiles, an interesting shift occurred. They chose to make their posts private. Initially, they blocked me, only to later unblock me, perhaps anticipating my return, and proceeded to tease me with images of their new supply on social media. However, the last time I checked, there was no sign of a fresh supply. Everything remained hidden behind privacy settings. In that moment, I made a firm decision that I would never subject myself to such an ordeal again. It's crucial to grasp that the narcissist yearns for your presence, but shudders at the thought of encountering the evolved and enhanced version of you. They dread the person you've become as a result of their actions. The consequences of their deeds, the pain they've caused you, terrify them. The fear of facing the transformed and elevated you haunts them. The prospect of meeting you in person is a source of profound dread. Rest assured, you consistently occupy their thoughts. For a significant period, you stood as a steadfast pillar in their lives, and it's only natural for thoughts of you to linger. Even if you've entered into a new relationship after their abuse, thoughts of them may still find a way into your mind as you build new connections. So, why assume the narcissist doesn't contemplate the impact you've left on their world? After four years, I encountered a failed hoovering attempt. This highlights the profound influence you, the empath and the chosen one, hold over their lives. Your imprint is indelible, reshaping their lives irreversibly. Eventually, they start questioning their own capabilities. I've even created a video delving into how they shift blame onto their closest friends and family members for the breakup between you and them. 
I encourage you to listen to my perspective and give it some thoughtful consideration. Beneath the painted smiles, internal suffering unfolds like a delicate tapestry. Their entire existence is a grand performance, lit by the glow of artificial sources. Peel away the crafted mask, and you uncover dusty creatures, strange and pitiable entities. They are nothing short of enigmatic spectacles, dusted oddities in the theatre of life. Recall the initial encounter with the narcissist. Did we back then possess even the faintest hint of their true nature? Certainly not. We saw them as enchanting, alluring, kind, gracious, empathetic individuals. However, reality sharply contrasted with this facade. They hid their authentic selves behind a mask, and now they continue this theatrical act with their new source of supply. But here's the intriguing twist. They're projecting it back to you. You have a permanent residence in their thoughts. The narcissist yearns for your return, but understands they've overstepped boundaries and pushed you too far. They avoid direct conversations, feeling rejection and the looming sense of abandonment. Having navigated a similar predicament, I grasped the weight of your situation. In my endeavor to sever ties with a narcissist years ago, they resorted to violence and even hinted at suicidal tendencies. This vividly illustrates the depth of their dependence. They crave you more than you yearn for them. Please, don't assume they've erased you from their thoughts merely because they've discovered a new source. I implore you, some might think they won't attempt to reconnect, as I once believed. However, after four years, I encountered a Hoover. It happened after I had healed, made significant progress, and firmly shut the doer on them. They tend to resurface when least expected. However, a word of caution, closely monitoring their social media accounts, especially on platforms like Snapchat, where users can see profile visitors, may escalate the situation. By doing so, you inadvertently validate their narrative, reassuring them that you're still in pursuit. It's crucial to maintain distance and resist the temptation to engage with their online presence. Trust me, my friend, the narcissistic empath truly craves your return. So, believe me when I say this. Nevertheless, they are aware of having crossed boundaries. They understand that you will hold them accountable, and the prospect terrifies them. Your strength, manifested through genuine and unconditional love, instills fear in them. They dread the potent message conveyed by your authenticity. If the narcissist in your life seems to be living a flawless existence, understand that it's just a mask. The truth remains hidden, unless one is willing to dig beneath the surface. These individuals are melancholic souls, always longing for more, enduring immense suffering because they cannot have you. As we conclude, your support holds significant value. If you found this content enjoyable, please show it by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. I appreciate everyone engaged with my videos. Your presence is genuinely cherished. For those fascinated by discussions on religious and philosophical concepts, explore my dedicated channel. You can find the URL in the description. If you feel inclined to support, a donation link is provided. You can also discover personalized sessions through the available information. Stay tuned for our upcoming educational video. Until then, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into today's topic, I'd like to encourage you to hit the subscribe and follow buttons to join us on this self-discovery journey. A special welcome to all the newcomers in our community. Your time here is greatly appreciated. If you find value in my words, consider clicking the like button to share this valuable resource with the wider online community. Your small gesture helps expand our community's reach. Now, let's delve into today's theme. What unfolds when a narcissist discovers they'd lost the real one? 
If you're watching this, chances are narcissists have identified you as their prime target. Perhaps you're realizing your involvement with a narcissist and seeking information and healing. The situation unfolds as follows. It's crucial to understand that a narcissist doesn't reside in reality. Hence, it's important to be mindful of what transpires when they come to the realization that they'd lost a genuine connection or a primary target. Every interaction and environment a narcissist establishes has a definite beginning and end, a concept they grasp. I use the term situation because a narcissist struggles with building genuine connections. I often refer to these relationships as addictionships, although some may call them situationships or transactions. While perpetuating their cycle of manipulation, a narcissist steers their addictionships, operating under the assumption that you will always be available and remain their constant target. The narcissist, unfortunately, remains indifferent to the harm they inflict. For instance, love bombing is a form of abuse and unquestionably, devaluation and the act of discarding are abusive as well. It poses a significant challenge, catching you by surprise and unfolding at the most inconvenient times. The narcissist appears to pull the rug out from under you, leaving you disoriented and adrift. Devaluation hits from all directions, left, right and centre. It may feel like you're just overcoming one senseless conflict, only to be thrust into another when the discard phase arrives. The person you're dealing with may appear to derive satisfaction from this damaging pattern. The extent of emotional abuse might lead you to question if this individual genuinely harbours disdain for you. However, it's important not to internalise it. I'm not suggesting you diminish the sorrow, anguish and revulsion you're experiencing. I acknowledge and understand your emotions, having been in your position myself. It's essential to remember that the narcissist treats everyone, including their own family members, in the same manner. Indeed, when a narcissist realises they'd lost the real one, a period of distress follows and the signs become apparent. You might receive messages, possibly from mutual acquaintances or through subtle cues. Unexpected friend requests from anonymous profiles might pop up on your social media accounts. You could notice someone driving by your workplace or witness flowers being sent to your home or workplace. The narcissist will employ every possible means to reach out to you, often without foreseeing the consequences of their actions. The only variable in this cycle of abuse is the victims, and sometimes they encounter someone like you, making the situation different. You fulfilled both the narcissist's needs and your own, responsibly managing your duties and even caring for their family and children, benefiting everyone involved. Despite seeing them with new partners on social media, it's unlikely they can easily forget all you brought into their lives. Their social media posts often serve as a facade for their underlying feelings of regret and melancholy. The pictures of them with their new lover reveal the narcissist's concealed sadness, showcasing a happiness that is merely a front. They are not truly content, rather, they attempt to convince themselves and others otherwise. When a narcissist loses someone genuine, a single snapshot won't suffice, and as they start sharing more pictures, it becomes evident that something is amiss. Close family members and relatives of the narcissist bear the brunt of their frustration, particularly if they share living spaces. The outbursts are directed at them, and the repercussions affect everyone, from the children to the extended family, and even co-workers. As the stabilizer in the dynamic, you brought balance and a semblance of normalcy, a noticeable change that family members acknowledged and hoped would endure when you first entered the narcissist's life. This initial impression was genuine, as narcissists occasionally encounter someone genuine like you. The loss of such a stabilizing presence 
due to the narcissist's destructive behavior, brings significant distress. In the aftermath, the family may reach out to you, seeking reunions or extending invitations. Despite claims that the children miss you or want to talk, they are, in reality, bearing the brunt of the narcissist's frustration at losing you, the stabilizer. The narcissist, who once enjoyed secretive liaisons with their new partner while you were present, now directs their resentment toward the family, who previously covered up their misdeeds. Expect several hoovering attempts by the narcissist to reconnect, sometimes through indirect means like contacting you through mutual friends or sending music videos that hold shared significance, a manifestation of their grieving process. When a narcissist loses someone genuine like you and is left to confront memories of their destructive behavior and the meaningful moments shared, their mind becomes haunted. Witnessing your success intensifies their discomfort, challenging their efforts to tarnish your reputation. Disregard the images they post with their new partner. How can they genuinely find happiness after losing someone as special as you? The more they share, the deeper their pain becomes. Their excessive social media activity is a facade to convince themselves of happiness, despite the underlying anguish. Contrast your composed demeanor with the apparent lack of appeal in their new partner. The shift from someone like you to their current spouse leaves them unable to replicate the stability you provided. They grapple with this loss daily. If you notice the narcissist tracking you on social media, understand that it serves as a self-soothing mechanism after losing you. Your spiritual core is grounded in a higher power, the omnipotent creator. Expressing your divine essence through generosity is a powerful way to give. Having had a profound impact on someone's life with your enthusiasm, generosity and love, your absence is deeply mourned. The narcissist, incapable of recovering from the loss of a genuine person, remains entrenched in their inability to do so. Narcissists endure significant suffering when they lose someone genuine. Despite their persistent attempts to seek solace, such as incessant calls from unknown numbers or monitoring on social media, it's important to reconsider if you think they are truly enjoying life after the mistreatment. The karma of the narcissist is the repercussions of their continued destructive behavior. This time you, the one who supported them through thick and thin, became the victim. Despite your unwavering support, they find themselves questioning their actions and facing the consequences. Many of you have encountered their calls and efforts to reconnect, especially during significant occasions like Valentine's Day or tax season. Their realization of losing someone genuine prompts them to seek reconciliation. To understand the reality of their situation, consider your inherent worth, irrespective of what you see on social media. When they attempt to re-establish contact, choose to ignore them. Let them remain with the family that condoned their dishonest actions. You deserve better, and it's time for them to face the repercussions of their deeds. So, to unravel the mystery, narcissists are grappling with profound anguish after losing the authentic one. Their actions, whether hastily entering marriages or embracing parenthood or crafting a facade on social media, all serve as a camouflage for the turmoil they're submerged in post your departure. Being inherently flawed, they are incapable of savoring genuine joy. Should you decide to retrace your steps to them, be cautious, for they might shatter you too, as they remain incomplete. In simpler terms, if you're curious about their current endeavors post losing you, it's likely a front concealing their contemplation of defeat and the realization that your triumph has thwarted their attempts to undermine you. Think of them as birds, but instead of dwelling on their actions, propel yourself forward ascend and evolve. The things you've left behind were meant to stay there. Your pinnacle days are yet to unfold. Don't fret over the narcissist's antics. They are grappling, 
rest assured. Focus on living your life to the fullest, flourishing and radiating brilliance. As the narcissist grapples with the aftermath of losing the real one, much like you, they are probably in disarray, battling despondency and desperately attempting to reconnect, even if it's indirectly, like through your kids. Their mistreatment of a royal progeny lies at the core of it all. One should never mistreat a child of royalty. When such a person enters your life, it's paramount to treat them with care and respect. If they couldn't reciprocate the love and respect bestowed upon you by your creator, it was evident they weren't the right fit for you. True love doesn't involve manipulation. It embraces you for who you are, not for an idealized version. A sincere partner seeks to bring positive change into your life. In summary, it's crucial to acknowledge that when narcissists lose someone genuine, they experience profound loss and suffering. This is often masked by behaviours meant to project an image of well-being, while they are, in reality, hurting. Their attempts at hoovering or reconnect the secret behind why narcissists crave empathy's return, despite having hurt them. Today, we explore the intricate reasons behind the insatiable craving for empathy among narcissists, even after inflicting considerable harm. Many among you, distinguished as chosen ones and empaths, may not fully apprehend the underlying intricacies of this complex interplay. The narcissist, propelled by an unquenchable thirst for dominance, treated you with disdain, consistently diminishing your worth while sidestepping transparent communication. As you witness the narcissist transitioning to new sources of validation, you might find yourself reflecting on the initial stages of affection, pondering over potential misjudgments. Despite immersing yourselves in myriad resources, some may not have entirely absorbed the pivotal message, and that's precisely what we endeavour to delve into today. But before we embark on this journey, we extend our heartfelt appreciation for your presence within our community. Your backing is invaluable. Should you find our content enriching and wish to contribute to its expansion, consider supporting us on Ko-Fi. Your generosity fuels our ability to produce more captivating material for your enjoyment. With support starting from a mere $1, your contribution holds immense significance for us. Furthermore, for those opting to join our membership program, we offer an exciting perk. Your name will be prominently featured in our forthcoming videos as a token of gratitude. It's a small gesture to acknowledge and honour the remarkable individuals who facilitate our endeavours. For those eager to delve deeper into the intricacies of narcissistic dynamics, ensure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to become an integral part of our community. Your support is genuinely invaluable to us. And to our returning viewers, do share this video with those who might find it illuminating, igniting stimulating conversations in the comments section below. Your insights serve as the lifeblood of our discussions. Now let's uncover the underlying motivations driving narcissists to seek empathy following transgressions and breaches of trust. Are you prepared for this enlightening voyage? Let's plunge into it. Beneath the facade, the narcissist harbors a clandestine desire for your presence, empath. They acknowledge their missteps and, in moments of introspection, yearn for your companionship. However, let's face it, admitting to this vulnerability isn't exactly their strong suit. Rejection is a bitter pill to swallow, especially when they find themselves at the receiving end. Their anxiety often compels them to engage in behaviours that leave you hanging, nurturing the hope that you'll patiently await their eventual return. Remember, they're adept at concealing their emotions and wearing different masks. This insight is crucial, especially when you see them with a new partner, seemingly basking in happiness. They've spent years perfecting their chariot, so why assume things have genuinely improved? You played a significant role in their narrative, offering insights and wisdom. 
Don't let the facade of joy mislead you into thinking their new supply is an upgrade. How sure are you that genuine contentment hides behind those seemingly carefree smiles? Look beyond the facade and you'll find that their joy isn't as authentic as it pretends